After the pink sauce lady scammed everybody and lost everything, she has now returned. And the question is, is she back for redemption? The pink sauce lady is back and she's back with a whole line of different flavors. The green one, for example, straight out of Shrek's nutsack. But don't worry about those flavors, ladies and gentlemen, because we're gonna cover that later on in today's video. But the question is, what is she doing back? How is she back? And how is she selling under the pink sauce name? If you remember the last time we covered this, she started a GoFundMe asking people to donate to her to get redemption for the pink sauce. She acts like she's broke, but then jumps on TikTok and claims that she's sold over 200,000 bottles. Whoa. That is cray cray. But not just that, the 200,000 bottles she was selling ended up arriving at people's homes looking like this. Turns out the pink sauce was shit and arrived full of mold. I mean, the ingredients are milk and egg and you're shipping it across the country in 300 degrees Fahrenheit, what do you expect? But in case you didn't know, that mold was actually alive and ended up transforming into a much larger version of itself and killed 33% of Alabama. And then the FDA was gonna shut her down because of the health concerns. I mean, obviously, I mean, it, it can kill people. And that's when Dave's Gourmet stepped in and saved her ass. Chef P and Dave's Gourmet entered into an exclusive partnership whereby Dave's Gourmet assumed responsibility as the executive supplier and distributor of pink sauce, putting it on the shelves, distributing it, etc. But then of course, with Dave's Gourmet stepping in, that still wasn't good enough. She ended up having a huge meltdown and smashing all the pink sauce all over the floor. The pink sauce lady claimed that she never received any payment from Dave's Gourmet and that she was apparently scammed by swindlers. Ooh. The pink sauce creator says she is broke after being financially sacked sabotaged by business partner Dave's Gourmet. The company says it's paid the viral chef 120 grand. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, she is selling some new sauce, but surely you'd think to yourself, somewhere in their partnership agreement, it says that she cannot sell any products under that name, the pink sauce. But guess what? Guess what? She did it anyway. But keep in mind, she slandered and dragged Dave Gourmet's name all over social media, claiming that she'd never been paid or anything. But I do have a question, see, you know, if you, if you never got paid, then... Why were you, you know, raving about selling 200k bottles? Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you didn't sell anything, so you, you haven't been paid, so we we danced about 200k bottles for. Or maybe you're lying. I think so. Officially, Dave's go me! Clapped back with some evidence. Here are documents that not only did she get paid, but she was also sent more money in advance payments so she could afford her rent. And that's the best part, even after. The pink sauce lady was slandering Dave Gourmet's name all over social media. They still give her money towards her rent. Talk about gratitude. They gave her $161,000, which actually kept her and her children from being evicted from her apartment. Please, sir, please. I need money. I'm about to be evicted from my family. I don't have any money for my children. Thank you. I've never been paid. But now it does seem that Dave Gourmet is trying to move on from the pink sauce by the fact that it can be found in the dollar store. <laughs> the dollar store. I mean, that shit don't look pink, man. Now, that's a biohazard right there. As soon as you fucking consume that stuff, it's gonna burn a hole in your stomach, guaranteed. But, ladies and gentlemen, the pink sauce lady is back for redemption. She started selling different colors of sauce under the pink sauce name. And you might be asking yourselves, where does this sauce come from? Is it made in the factory? No, it comes straight from the mythical creature's nutsack. Here we go, green, Shrek's nutsack. Yellow, Spongebob's nutsack. Blue, Avatar's nutsack for sure. Oh wait, hang on a sec, I'm just taking a look at a website real quick. My mistake, it's not sauce, it's a powder form. A powder. But look at the powder. At the moment, she's only got blue listed on there, but on her TikTok, she had like a different range of colours. She had not mustard. So, what is it then? I told you, it's Spongebob's nutsack in there. I knew it. Oh, no, Spongebob. You got ranch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant to say. Ru ru ranch. I, d I don't know. Ranch sauce, I guess. I the green sauce and blue sauce. So that's what appeared on her TikTok. But in terms of her website, it's just the blue one. And the pink one, obviously. But it is in a powder form. I mean, once again, you, you don't really expect us to mix it, right? I mean, surely not. Okay, so first we gonna need an activator, okay? So here, I'm adding in a blue seasoning and then I was doing Holy Spirit activate, 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 Holy Spirit activate. Okay, so now we gonna add in some sour cream and then I'm just lifting it up to show y'all I added in the sour cream and it was so hard to get this sweet chili sauce out of the container, but yeah, it came out anyways. So, boom, there you go. Then we gonna add in some vegan mayo and I know that's contradiction because uh, 
yeah vegan mayo sour cream oh well it works for me and it tastes good okay i'm editing this video right now i want to jump in and say this it's basically food coloring it's got chili sauce in there it's got mayonnaise all the other kinds of sauces and what she adds is practically food coloring Oh, yeah. Seems like a lot of effort just to make some sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but the question is, is this pink sauce lady's time to shine? Is this what's going to change everything? Well, let's look at the pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. So the bag costs $20. Well, this cost me around four bucks. Um, ah! so. On top of the 20 bucks, I have to go to the store to buy more ingredients that I have to put with the powder to mix it. I mean, that's just, that's just time and energy. I, I don't have time to do that. I mean, I just... I just go to the store and buy this, like, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, I... This is too much effort. And to extend my point onto that, which is another con, there's more dishes to wash. I hate washing dishes. Why are you making me wash more dishes? I just, I just use this. I, I, this is all good for me. I, I don't need a powder to get ingredients and to wash more dishes. <laughs> what do you think I am? I don't wash dishes. But of course, let's not forget the pros, all right? Some big pros here. It's blue. All right, nice. Yeah, I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just stick with this. Cheers. Whoa, hang on a second, hang on a second. Pink pasta. Pink deviled eggs. Oh, you dirty bastard. But comment down below, would you buy this? I want to know. I want to know now. And if you would buy it, let me know in the comments which one you would buy. Don't say pink pasta. I don't eat food because of the color. I eat food because of the taste. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh but the pink sauce, oh, it makes it taste really good. I like my pasta the way it tastes, thank you very much. I don't need to add a bit of pink piss in there to make it taste nicer. But I get what she's doing here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? She's trying to make it seem as if it's this kind of product which, you know, enhances the flavor of every single food. It's something that you feel the need to put into every dish, and, and she's just glorifying it as a product which, you know, really does enhance the way your food looks. Maybe tastes as well, whatever. So that's why all these colors are coming out. I think, you know, the blue, the green, the yellow, whatever. I think that's the reason why. But, you know, in all honesty, does it have the wow factor? It does. That's the thing. A sauce that's pink. I mean, as long as it doesn't look like that. You know, it needs to be pink. That's not pink. But in terms of the ones in her TikTok, yeah, it's wow. Like, you know, when do you ever see a pink sauce? When do you see a blue sauce? It makes people want to try it. It's an impulse buy. The, the foundation to sell the product is there. The problem is, is the way you handle yourself going through it. Why are you slandering a business partner? Why are you dragging their name all over the internet? The document confirms you are being paid. So what was the GoFundMe about? Yeah, you're lying. <laughs> but you know, we are all asking ourselves, how on earth is she even able to sell the pink sauce? I mean, the FDA shut her down, no? At the time, Shaw was not producing pink sauce because the FDA instructed her to seize all of the production due to the quality concerns. She was making pink sauce in her kitchen and was shipping it without refrigeration in the heat of the summer. And the sauce frequently went bad during shipping as evidenced by many social media posts from buyers. The sauce was not shelf stable and was not safe for shipping without refrigeration. There was huge negative publicity online and on social media due to the quality issues that Shaw had experienced. According to the agreement, Shaw received upfront payment of $45,000 as part of their agreement for Dave's Gourmet to pursue the sales of pink sauce. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, even though that is the case, she's actually removed dairy from the ingredients, which now qualifies her as a cottage food operation. Made in a cottage food operation that is not subject to Florida's food safety regulations. Yeah. Why did I say that in a cinematic voice? Because everything sounds better in a cinematic voice. One man, one arm, he picks up his coffee and drinks it. See what I'm saying? But anyway, to qualify as a cottage food operation, there's a bunch of guidelines that need to be followed. Now, firstly, what is a cottage food operation? Well, luckily, I've got an article right here. Florida law allows individuals to use their unlicensed home kitchens to produce for sale certain foods that present a low risk of foodborne illness. Cottage food operations can produce and sell these products directly to the consumer without obtaining a food permit from the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Gross sales for a cottage food operation must not exceed $250,000 annually. And here we are have the Florida labeling requirements. You can check it out. You can pause the video, but I'm definitely not going to read that out. So perhaps maybe this time things will be done properly, but who knows? And a low risk of foodborne illness. If the fucking sauce turns up like that, everybody's dying. But I guess now she's avoided that with the powder, which I guess why you have to mix it yourself. So now ladies and gentlemen, I guess everything's turning up rainbows. She can put Dave's gourmet behind her, put the old pink sauce behind her, and oh my god. Recipe. I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course they lied about everything they said in the beginning. 
I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course, they didn't involve me in the creation of the product. I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course, they took my ideas and tried to turn them into their own. I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course, they lied to the media to make me look like a bad person. I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course, they're trying to deteriorate my brand from their own mistakes. I gave my recipe to swindlers. Of course, they took out all the high quality ingredients and turned them into low quality ingredients. So clearly she's still talking shit about Dave's Gourmet all over social media. So you, you're making the same mistake again. She claims she wasn't involved in the production process, which who knows if that's true, you know? She claims that the reason the sauce wasn't pink is because they didn't use the ingredients that she would put in the sauce. Well, who knows, okay? Who knows? But the question is, ladies and gentlemen, does she deserve a second chance? I mean, it says a lot about her character. She made the pink sauce, she fucked up selling it the first time, the FDA was about to shut her down, Dave Gourmet stepped in, saved her, she dragged them all across the internet slandering their name, and even still after slandering them, Dave's Gourmet still continued to give her advance payments for her rent, regardless of the slander that she was saying on social media. And now she started selling a new line of pink sauce. So, you know, you can really see what that says about her character. I think she needs to stop saying bad things about Dave's Gourmet and put it behind her. You know, you want the pink sauce to do well? Then stop talking about Dave's gourmet. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And if you really want the sauce to work, I would highly suggest trying to market it correctly. One reason why people buy things is because they see celebrities use it. So why not try and get some celebrities involved? I know it might be difficult, I understand, but try to get like even small celebrities who are just on the up uh, on the up and coming, you know? Get them involved, record them trying the pink sauce, record their reaction, and instantly. People, you, you, you're gonna get views on TikTok for that. Maybe invest some money into marketing it as well, you know, with TikTok ads and everything. These things can work. Reinvent your brand, okay? If you see Jennifer Aniston, you know, using conditioner for her hair or drinking a certain smoothie that is from a particular company, people will tend to invest into it and, and, and try it themselves. So maybe try and get celebrities to try pink sauce. That's literally my advice for you. All right, with that said, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, comment down below if you try this sauce or not. And also subscribe if you're new because, you know, we're back, baby. Okay, daily uploads. All right, let's get it. <gasps> Hope you all have a brilliant night slash evening, and I'll see you all in the next one. Leave comments down below what videos you want to see next. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.